Go! Shit! Oh, oh. Everybody. Good morning and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. I'm in sunny California where I couldn't be any more happy. And guess who I reunited with? That's right, my girl Lemonade out here in California. We're out here for the next eight or nine days just having a lot of fun. But hey, my day didn't start in California, so let's go back and see how it started. So it's eight in the morning and we are off to LA. And when I say we, it's myself and Noah. And the reason for this trip is basically to go out there to just get a lot of exposure to the vlog and other things. I'm always trying to reach people with my message of love of animals and in particular reptiles. So it's a great opportunity to get out there, meet up with a bunch of my really big YouTube friends, uh, do a bunch of collaborative videos, have some fun and kind of expose their audience to the things that I love and hopefully bring them over into our world. So uh, it's gonna be an amazing time. I'm not a big fan of flying, but I fly a lot, so I have to do it. Today looks like it's gonna be a really great day to fly, beautiful out here. So what do you say we pack up and hit the airport? Okay, so we are here and we're about uh, two hours early, so we have plenty of time. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we're on the plane, ready to take off. So hey guys, here I am at work today. Brian and Noah are off on their trip, flying to California, and I am here with the puppies holding down the fort. So I will show you what's going on today. Um, I'm not even sure exactly what's going on. So I'm gonna take you in back with me and see if we've got some new babies, um, anything else exciting going on. I don't know, but I will show you what's going on. So now that I am in SoCal, you may ask yourself, where are all these animals gonna stay? Well, fortunately, the lovely people here at this hotel are going to allow me, well, they're not gonna actually allow me because I didn't tell them, but I'm keeping all the animals in my hotel room just for the next day or so, and then they're gonna go back to Jason's house, get kind of set up, get watered, all that other stuff, and then they're gonna come back out with me again. But for tonight, they're gonna be in the hotel. Now, I did show you the bunch of stuff that I packed the other day, but I didn't really show you the animals, and this happens to be an adult male pastel ball python. Now, when I'm starting a collection out here in California that's basically gonna be educational, as well as just being around a lot of people that don't have experience in handling animals, I wanna give them the most amazing experiences possible. So this animal is certainly a great ambassador. So, and I tried to do that with the majority of the animals. So here's the pastel ball python. And then kind of with the same ilk as the ball python, as I always say that the best starter snake is a ball python or of course a corn snake. So we brought a beautiful corn snake that is about three years old and it's, it's always been really placid and great to handle. I kind of, you know, I'm bummed out because I've really had a relationship with a couple of these animals for a long time, for years sometimes, but I wanted to really start an awesome collection out here. So I had to sacrifice and even though I won't see them all the time, I'm gonna still see them several times a year. So this guy is a little corn snake that's just gonna break a lot of people's hearts because it's so adorable. And then of course, another great starter animal would be a Northern Blue Tongue Skink. And uh, this just happens to be a male that I raised up that's two years old that I just thought was really beautiful. He's chunky, he's got a great personality, he's really good. And when someone isn't really that experienced with a reptile, look at, I mean, you can just hold this thing like nothing. I mean, it's such a cool animal. This is gonna get a lot of people excited and go, oh my God, reptiles are really cool. So, and again, I had showed you, I also brought this leopard gecko, this Tremper albino uh, as well. So we have a couple lizards. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna introduce you to another lizard in a few minutes. But you know, one of the things I will say that uh, does stink when I do travel is I do miss Lori, of course, and thankfully Noah's along on this trip, but I miss my animals too. So uh, we're gonna continue to check in with Lori throughout this entire trip. And uh, let's go ahead and check in with her right now. So first exciting thing I find today is when I come in some baby boas. Look at these guys, super cute. Super adorable. Like I said, these guys are super cute. Can you see them? There you go. And it looks like we've got some normals and some hypos in this litter. So that was a really nice surprise. So, okay, 
the first exciting thing for the day, baby Wallace. I also ended up shipping Queen Elizabeth instead of Princess Charlotte because again, I felt more comfortable. And look at how we had to pack her. We packed her in a way because you don't want them to get jostled around where they break their abdomen or break a leg or anything like that. So you pack them in this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and get her into another container uh, just for a little while. So take a look right here. Where's she at? Oh, look at her, there she is. She's right in the bottom. And she's nuzzled in so nicely that you don't have to worry about her. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of let her loose and uh, see how she is. Come on, little girl. Look at that, guys. There she is, she's waking up. She's like, oh, look at that. And I'll go ahead and keep her in this just overnight. And then we'll have a chance to handle her tomorrow. And then we'll go ahead and give her back to Jason and he'll definitely put her in something that's gonna be really good for her. But look at how good, she made the trip perfect. Good job, Queen Elizabeth. I can't wait to show you off to everybody. Okay, and I can't wait to show you this animal. This one is definitely gonna be a showstopper because uh, you guys know I love this particular type of animal. So let's go ahead and show you what I have here. Oh, I'm excited. Look at this guy. Oh, look at him. Whoa, whoa. Okay, 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 calm down, calm down. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> of course, it's an alligator. This guy is a little feisty monkey for sure, but he's nothing like RJ, where RJ is so much larger. I remember when RJ and Mitchie and Jay Paul were this size. Whoa, 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 Jeez. whoa, whoa. <laughs> you gotta be careful. This guy is crazy. <laughs> okay, 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 calm down, calm down. Calm down. Oh. Okay, okay, it's all right. Woo this little guy is a maniac, isn't he? So we're definitely gonna have to get him calmed down because we don't want people to be handling an animal that's like this, but uh, he's gonna be fine. We'll handle him a little bit tonight. We'll get him calmed down and uh, he's gonna be amazing. But I have one more animal to show you, but uh, I'm gonna have to move to the bathroom to show it to you. So since we started out the day with some baby boas, and that was a nice surprise, now I decided to check to see if anything is hatching. I know stuff started to pip out of the eggs and Brian was really, bummed that he wasn't going to be here to see these things hatching so I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of excited that I'm the one who gets to find them because when you put all the hard work into breeding them and doing all that stuff that's the most fun part is watching these babies hatch out so I'm kind of happy that I get to do the first ones Ooh, we got Pueblins in here little apricot Pueblin milk snakes see this Look at these little babies. Ah, so tiny, so cool. Looks like we might have a Halloween in there too. Oh, I think this is something everybody's excited about. I get so many calls and emails. When are you gonna have Mexican black kings? When are you gonna have Mexican black kings? Guess what? We got Mexican black kings. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. Well, it looks like we had two clutches in this box. Look at that. One lonely baby, but all its brothers and sisters are out. So, yay for Mexican Black Kings. Oh, this one's just starting. Look at, see this is so exciting. And even though it's exciting to open a box that has like a bunch of babies in it, sometimes I think this is kind of cooler because it's anticipation. Look at this. We got one out, but look at all these guys, see? It's so cool how they slit, and some of them do, look Look how many. They'll slice it like 10, 15 times before they finally decide it's a big enough hole to come out. But uh, yeah, I think that's kind of cool. I think I have one more box. Let's see what's in this last box. Yep, more of the same. It's funny because there's certain animals that do that, that seem to breed and lay their eggs sooner and of course those are the ones that hatch the first so mexican black kings and pueblo milks are some of our first ones to start to lay but more babies mexican black kings and pueblins so this is exciting i'm happy and excited about it and you know what that means for me more work so I have to go and I have to get cages set up for all these little babies. So that's what I'm doing now. Anyways, we had some fun, exciting things here today. Hope you enjoy it. And I'm pretty sure we'll probably have more stuff hatching tomorrow between this and the geckos and, and who knows? We got some live bears do, lots of stuff. So basically that's my day today. Hope you enjoyed it. 
Okay guys, so this is the last animal here. And the reason why I wanted to move into the bathroom is that this animal actually comes with an interesting story. My buddy Andy actually contacted me about this animal and said, hey, there's a relatively tame white throat monitor, but it wasn't really in a great situation. So it hadn't been really cared for very well. So we just decided this is a great opportunity to not only have a great ambassador animal, but also do a rescue so that we can actually, you know, give it a better life. You know what I mean? And you can see it's just an absolute beautiful animal. But I'm going to be honest with you, because it was kept pretty bad, this guy stinks pretty pretty nasty and I don't want to introduce this to somebody tomorrow uh, and see that uh, it's a stinky animal and again you guys may know that I'm hooking up with Shane Dawson tomorrow to do a podcast and some video stuff so I want to make sure that my new buddy here is in good shape so we're gonna go ahead and just give him a little bit of a bath I think number one he's gonna love it take a look he actually loves the water. He's just gonna chill out in here. And plus it's gonna make him just kind of feel a little bit better. So I think I'm just gonna spend the next maybe half hour or so letting him just kind of sit in here and do his thing. You can see he kind of has a little bit of a rub nose and he's got a couple other flaws from just you know, really not being kept very properly, but uh, I think he's going to rebound really well and he's going to be a great animal for us. And uh, when we get him fattened up and bigger, uh, this is going to be a really cool animal. So uh, I do need to name this guy. So go ahead down in the comments and let me know what you think this guy should be named right here. Gosh, the thing is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, I'm really excited and uh, I can't wait to see this guy kind of just flourish and grow here and uh, again, be a great animal ambassador but uh, uh he's just loving the water and lastly i wanted to show you this white face albino reticulated python this is actually my buddy andy's animal that he's just letting me borrow for some of the presentations we're doing and just so you guys know if you guys haven't been following along like what are you doing brian why are you in la and so on like that we're out here to do a bunch of collaboration videos with some really big name youtubers and kind of introduce them to our world of reptiles and hopefully their audience will start to love reptiles and follow what we do so this is just kind of a way for us to get an outreach to a larger and larger audience because in the end that's what I'm all about is trying to reach people with the message of tolerance of all animals but in particular snakes because that's what I love so much so you guys will enjoy the next eight or nine days out here because trust me we're gonna have some great stuff sorry I know today's vlog didn't have a lot of action because we were traveling and kind of collecting all these animals but I promise you the rest of this week is gonna be absolutely incredible so I hope you'll stick around and check it out for sure and I hope you enjoy all these animals that I'm showing you so I hope you have an amazing day thank you so much for tuning in you guys mean the absolute world to me can you do me a favor and smash that like button and hit that notification bell for me make sure to be kind to somebody and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow and it'll be a much more exciting vlog